This is Jason with Novice Temps, and I'm working on the Hacker Boxes number nine virtual worlds project. The project is an inertial mouse. So you can see here I've got my Arduino Micro Pro from SparkFun. Uh, I've got some leads powering the rails on this side of the breadboard to send power to the nine axis motion controller with some leads running back to pins two and three in order to receive, send and receive data from the device. Uh, and then I've got ground coming to the rail on this side, uh, and then pin four coming over here, uh, and pin five coming all the way over that there. Um, I'm using one of the rails as the ground for both buttons, uh, and the other rail as an extended lead for one of the buttons. So, uh, right click is coming over here and it's this button left click is using the orange wire to here and then back to the rail to ground it out so this seems to work um, I'm just using really small jump wires to hook the uh, MPU 920 50 9250 uh, to the breadboard I was having a lot of problems just with general connectivity with the jump wires and the, the points, solder points on both the devices. And I, I was pulling my hair out for a while because it would either not read the uh, buttons or not read the, the motion controller or just lose connection altogether to the serial port on my computer. But uh, I've pressed the leads down really good and it seems to be working now. Um, so I can show you on my computer here. So you can see that the mouse is fighting me. That's because it's actually working here. So I'm gonna bring up the COM port. Uh, Shift Control M brings up the serial monitor. And you can see there we've got numbers scrolling by. Uh, the number on the left is the x-axis I believe and the number on the right is the y and then the two numbers further uh, beyond that are for the left and right mouse button so if I pick up this and move it around you can see let me see you can see as I tilt it those numbers are changing and it's actually affecting my mouse cursor as you can see so uh, I'm holding it wrong so because it's hard to do this with two hands there it is <laughs> so it totally works and I can click the button and you can see on the serial monitor that it right clicked and got <laughs> away from it uh, that's not gonna work too well um, I definitely recommend so on my code I definitely recommend, uh, actually, I'm going to comment out my mouse movement and re-upload. Control-U to upload. It really helps to know the serial monitor command to bring up the serial monitor and the upload command to upload a sketch uh, when you're working with a mouse because it kind of, it fights you. It fights you really hard. So I would recommend when you're starting this to comment out that mouse move line like I have here. So I have my mouse back. So if you just put two slashes on this line, that will make it not move your mouse. Uh, but it'll still record all the, f all the movements in the serial monitor. So if I bring this back up, um, you can see the numbers are scrolling there. And now, because I have it, if I click, you can see it's right clicking, and if I click the other one, it's registering a left click. So uh, it's still, because of this code here, it's still checking the, uh, the left and right but mouse buttons. Um, so if I'm on something, it will actually do a click um, from my mouse. So. Uh, the instructions in uh, on the HackerBox uh, instructables is are great. 
Um, I did have to swap the low and high, like they said, for both buttons, um, and set change the pin modes to input pull up, because uh, in the uh, initial the instructable they're using a resistor to um, send a high signal to the button, uh, and they interrupt it with the button, which is why our low state is a left click and our high state is a release. So we're doing it with less components, um, which is why the low and the high are reversed from what the original instructable, uh, original instructions that they've got a link to um, on the hacker, hacker box eh, instructables is doing. But this, this is much easier. Uh, so yeah, definitely um, comment out that line. Make sure you uh, set those inputs to input pull-up instead of output. Um, and also, I had to include mouse.h on mine. Um, the video where he gets this, uh, there's some comments on there um, asking why it's not finding mouse.h, and he's saying that he didn't use it. And I'm not sure how he's accessing the mouse functions without including that mouse library. Um, so my next step is going to be to hook up the Bluetooth uh, connector so that I can run this wirelessly without having the USB plugged into my computer. And this should also let me hook it up to my iPhone um, whenever I get this functioning. And this should be just hooking up the transmit and receive pins to the TX and RX pins over here. Um, I think that's probably all I need. Well, add that in power. Um, that should be all I need, uh, but I'm sure I'll run into other problems. Um, I think this is going to be a lot more reliable once I have everything soldered, because my biggest problem was making sure that the connections actually touched everywhere that they needed to on both the chips. Um, so thanks for watching. I'll probably post another when I get the uh, Bluetooth working, and then again when I get the glove all, all loaded up with the, these electronics.